Hello, everybody. This is Pun Frugal Streamer. Now, listen, if you use Stream Effects in the past, you're no longer using it because they put it behind a paywall. I got news for you because there is a new plugin that is out that is free and it does one of the features that a lot of people use Stream Effects for, including myself. Now I can revert back to my old filters and use this one again and give my live stream an effect that I've been missing for a long time. So if you're interested in that, Stay tuned. You know, I use stream effects for a long time to give my backgrounds a blur. Specifically in my starting scene and in my intermission scene, I usually use a nested webcam background scene that I would then blur. And it kind of gave you this animated effect because as I moved around, you could kind of see it within the blur. And then I would overlay my regular webcam on top of that. And it was kind of a neat little feature, but no longer can I do it because stream effects went, went behind a paywall and I'm just not going to pay for it. I didn't think I, you know, could warrant it. But thanks to Finite Singularity, he has come out with a free blur plugin called Composite Blur. It's currently in version 1.0.2 and you can download it on OBS Studio's website under the plug plugins form thread. All right, there you can download a Windows, Mac, or Linux version. It comes with zip files and an installer. So it's super easy to install. And once you install it, then you will have the filters available. Obviously you need to make sure that you, you know, if you have OBS running, you shut it down, restart it. And then you can then start using the plugin. So let me show you now how I use it in my live streams. Okay. So what I used originally was this scene in my live stream and without the blur plugin, well, it doesn't work, right? So what I did was I would make a nested scene and it was the webcam background underscore in. The underscore in is something I just used to identify nested scenes within all these crazy scenes that I got. So within that, I can add a filter to the actual scene itself. Uh, in this case, you you want to do this to the scene and not to the source, because if you did this to the source, well, then it would go change your webcam also. So here I'm doing it to the scene. So what we'll do is we'll go to filters and then we will add the composite blur. Once it's installed, it should show up like that. If not, well, you screwed up. Okay. So here is your composite blur. We'll select that. I'm not going to name it anything other than that. And automatically we now have a blur. Now this is Gaussian blur. So we'll, you know, crank that up a little bit. We'll take a look at it. We'll go to the starting scene. And so that's kind of what the starting scene sort of looked like. Now, if you go back to the web uh, background underscore in and go to filters, I also had a color correction and this is actually what I did to run it. So I darken it up a little bit by dropping the gamma down some like that. And then it would, you know, make my starting scene look like that. And that's kind of the look I was going for originally when stream effects had this blur plugin uh, that they had. And it was a Gaussian blur that I used. Composite blur now does this plus more. I think it's really neat. Some of the things that you can do with it. So let's go back to the uh, webcam background end scene. We'll click on the filters again. I'm only going to uh, hide the color correction for right now. And we'll go to composite blur and we'll bring this back down to zero. So you can see me and now, what we'll do now is we'll look at the different algorithms. Now, the one I want to talk about is this dual kawase. It's a Japanese word. I just learned that. Did not know. I did not know how to pronounce that. But the, um, the proper pronunciation is kawase. Okay, so dual kawase here. Uh, you can do a blur radius and you can then change it to, you know, I mean, you could really blow it out to 1025 here. Uh, but, you know, something like an 89 would work good. And that would give you the blurring that you would need to then turn your color correction back on. And you would get this starting effect. Likewise, I do the same for the intermission. Where you kind of see it here in the background too. So it works really well. Uh, and you can see if I move around and, you know, and you can kind of see it in the background. It's kind of cool. Uh, that's kind of the effect that I was going for with this uh, scene collection that I've built here. All right. So that's as simple as it gets. I really like this. Now let's talk about this filter real quick. Again, let me go and get back to it and I will hide that and then turn this down so you can see me again. Now this algorithm that is part of the plugin is actually very efficient. It provides you with zero, zero extra load on your GPU for using this as compared to Gaussian, which can add up to five or six percent based on what I've tested. So I de definitely recommend that if you're going to use this, uh, go use the dual policy. Okay. So it's a, it's going to give you a more efficient 
blur. It's not going to load you down like a Gaussian would do. The third thing, you can also use this as an, a mask effect. So here we go. See this red box right here? This red box is for something that is not out in retail yet. And I can't really talk a whole bunch about it, but say if I was live streaming and you're watching me and I wanted to hide that so you couldn't see it, or if it was where you could easily recognize what it was because of the box, I could use this effect mask to hide a portion of my camera scene so you couldn't see what it was. So what we'll do here is I have this crop and we'll blur this out so you can kind of see this box right here, right? Turn it up so you can see it well, and then you can adjust as necessary to then kind of, you know, move it around. In this case, I'm going to use the crop mode to get it like this. And then I'll move the left in a little bit. And then obviously I'm going to drop the top. I'll adjust the bottom a little bit here too. So then you can't see the box, right? If something's there, you'll know that there's something there I do not want you to see. That's another neat feature with this okay really cool and that's probably the two main ways that i would personally use it now you can combine this with other plugins say like move transition uh, that you can really do some really neat things with uh, but i really like using this blur algorithm for doing various things now let's go try a couple different options okay so pixelate's a neat one because then you can add shapes and you can do some sort of retro looks to your background if you want to do like an 8-bit look or a 16-bit look or i mean if you just want to make it distorted like that let's take a look and see how that looks let's uh, engage our color correction again to get it dark We'll go back to the intermission scene and you can kind of see what that looks like. You know, so that's actually kind of cool too, uh, if you like that look. Uh, I also, uh, I tried this with the triangles, which you can also do too. So let's bring that back up and I'll show you that look. The triangles is actually pretty neat because then you can go in and make, you know, these triangles kind of big like this. And then let's go back to the starting scene and we'll take a look at that. Now this starting scene, that's actually a really neat look right there that I kind of I, I kind of dig to be honest with you pretty cool that is one of the ways that you can use this blur plugin it's really really handy so thank you finite singularity for the composite blur number one is free doesn't cost you a thing. You can get it for all of the OSs that support OBS Studio. Now, I'm not sure how well it works on Linux or Mac, but I'm using Windows 11 and it works really good here. Keep that in mind when you're installing it, but it's free, it's safe to use, and it works really well to get your scenes a little more custom. Okay, so again, thank you, Finite Singularity, for providing a great plugin. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, I would appreciate it if you hit the like, you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, support the algorithm, please. I'd like this video to shoot up there because a lot of people, I think, could take advantage of this. All right, everybody, be safe out there. Bye-bye.